Sports.com. You know, you were in my last year's Bar Camp video. A lot has changed for you. Talk about one of the biggest changes, which is news streams. Right, right. Uh, that's that's a hyper local community newspaper site, and I don't even know a better way to say it than that. But in San Marcos, Texas, uh, the bottom line is we found a niche where they didn't have real good local news. The the competition is the daily record which comes out like three times a week so locally they call it the almost daily record and <laughs> so it wasn't hard to beat the the timeliness being a, a web uh, uh, publication and uh, you know the the resources there it, it was just a perfect storm of opportunity for us and I, I think what we've done has been pretty amazing it's only been up a few months uh, last month 645,000 hits so uh, it's rocking and rolling. Yeah, well, talk about what you're covering. I mean, this is news, sports, what, what's all on there? Basically, if you go to any small town and look at their local paper, it's the same stuff. We have local news, we have local sports, we have opinion, we have all of that stuff. We leave out all the AP news stuff because there's way too many sources for that. Then go on CNN.com and get that stuff. And it's all about the local people. Uh, one of our big philosophies is that every person should hit the newspaper in some time in their life other than when they're born and when they die. That's, <laughs> that's definitely true. Talk about, you know, hyper-local is all the rage right now for journalism in the journalism world. They've, there have been different projects started across the country that have since failed because they've tried to do more citizen journalism. Talk about what makes you all different. Well, one of the things, that, like I mentioned, was the resources there. Texas State University is, I believe, the largest mass comm department of any state or any college in the state. So we have just a tremendous resource of, of journalism students. Plus, we've attracted some of the best journalists from Central Texas, East Texas, you name it, that have all moved there just to be journalists. So uh, rule number one is we want the input from the community, but we don't want them writing all the content. We want real journalism. Well, and that's important. That's why probably some of the hyperlocal stuff has failed because citizen journalism, while it sounds romantic, they don't have the training or the know-how right. to do it most of the time. Right, although we have been surprised. Our opinion page is just filled with uh, some well thought out articles by you know people who've just submitted them as letters to the editor. Uh, one of the things we've discovered in, in this area was that people had only a couple ways to be heard in that city. You could go in front of the city council and speak in front of the dais for like three minutes. You could send a letter to the editor of the almost daily paper. And that was the only way to get your voice out. Now we're on there 24 hours a day uh, and people are commenting on a daily basis, submitting stories, story ideas. So, uh, you know, we've really help the whole community start talking to each other. What's something you put on there so far that you're most proud of? You know, something that you got a big reaction or just were personally proud of, you know, kind of the effort? Well, I think we've broken several stories. There, there uh, were some, uh, there were a couple big cases. One, a, uh, a, an illegal alien smuggling ring that literally we're sitting around the office working on our video production and the scanner goes off about something, we send a guy over there. We're there two hours before uh, uh, Austin's media crew got there. Uh, San Antonio never showed up. <laughs> Come to find out, it turned out to be a pretty big story and now they're, you know, they're publishing links back to us. And uh, you know, we're really proud when we can break that kind of stuff. Now you talked about video, what are you doing video-wise? Uh, we've launched what's called our, our video update, the new streams video update, and that, and that's not necessarily like a daily news. It's it's a weekly update, probably 20, 30 minutes varies, uh, and it's feature based, so that we, it's not timely. We can interview the head of Texas State football. We can also I interview maybe uh, we've done the city manager, the mayor. We're interviewing uh, uh, one of the uh, county judges. So it's topic-based, feature-based, and we've gotten just a tremendous response from the area. 
Now you talk about being this in San Marcos and there's not a lot of competition. Do you see this as even possibly moving into larger cities like Houston and potentially targeting certain you know, neighborhoods or areas? It, it definitely has potential if it's run right. Now if you try to go into Houston and, and compete direct one-on-one -on -one with some of the big major media, you're not going to do it. But because we focus hyper-local, uh, because the content will be just directly important to the people who are your target audience, uh, it'll succeed. I mean, the, the businesses that are the mom and pop restaurants, they're hyper local. They, they're not getting people from 50 miles away on the other side of Houston to come eat there. They're getting the locals to come eat there. So that's where they'll advertise. So speaking of that, I mean, obviously, you must be doing well as far as local advertising in San Marcos. Yeah, we, uh, uh, one of the things that, uh, that uh, gives us the tremendous numbers of uh, visitors is that it's totally free. Everything's free. There's no subscription to the paper or, or nothing like that. You don't have to even buy cable. Uh, you can go to the library and get on the computer for free. So you don't even need internet access, really. Uh, and because of that, all of the community comes to the site on a regular basis over and over again and uh, the, uh, the advertisers, local businesses have responded uh, tremendously. We literally sold out the front page for a year the first week. So, and now it's just a matter of we need to create more sections so <laughs> we can, uh, you know, keep up with the demand. Are, you have blogs on there. Are people running blogs? Yeah, we, we're not doing them officially as blogs because, as you know, part of this whole new media uh, web 2.0 thing, the mentality always has been, if you build it, they will come. Well, we don't want to build it and then only have a few trickle in. <laughs> so, so we're slow to create that. We want to make sure that anybody who blogs there is going to be consistent. Now, if, if you want to comment once a month, once every two months, we won't set up a blog for you, but we will put your con content in the opinion section. And I can't have you sit here without mentioning Lone Star Gridiron. What's going on with that? Uh, we're blowing up there, too. I mean, it, it's, it's amazing. This is like our fifth year now of covering Texas high school football across the state. And we have a brand new site. We've launched our new forums. We've also uh, added a new video update that comes out on a weekly basis. We have lots of bonus features. We're traveling around now, visiting all the uh, two-a-day training camps, getting footage there, and um, working on some things around the state. I think uh, you know it's really set to blow up this year. MikeMcGuff.com.